Welcome to the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department at Rutgers. We're delighted to have a chance to tell you a little bit about our department. In the next video, you'll see some of the activities of students and faculty in the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department. There's everything from the Naviator, which is a drone that flies both underwater and in the air, uh, to the Rutgers Formula Racing Team that designs, builds, and competes in a Formula Racing car every year, to a 3D printer that was designed and built by uh, senior design students in Professor Ho Wan Lee's lab. So it seems to me that, that making people feel that science is accessible, that they can understand what it's about, that they can have some control over their own future, is very important. The gates of the wonder world are opening in our time. The matter of the cosmos has become alive and aware. There must be many such worlds scattered through space, but our search for them begins here, with the accumulated wisdom of the men and women of our species, acquired at great cost. On the mode of dust, suspended in a sunbeam. Our contemplations of the cosmos stir us. We know we are approaching the grandest of mysteries. Rutgers was one of the first nine colonial colleges. It was founded as Queens College in 1766. The Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department was created in 1908. Uh, we currently have 32 faculty members, about 800 undergraduates, um, sophomores, juniors, and seniors and about 170 graduate students split evenly between master's and PhD students. We now offer accredited bachelor's degrees in both mechanical engineering and in aerospace engineering. Under mechanical engineering, we have additional certificates or specializations if students choose in uh, aerospace systems and energy systems. We also have a combined bachelor's master's degree program. This is a program in which students can apply in their junior year and then began to take graduate courses their senior year. Typically, students are able to complete their master's degree in one additional year. And in some cases, students have been able to take enough courses in their um, senior year to finish their master's degree in just one additional semester. As engineers, we have the privilege of creating things, of inventing and creating things that have never existed. To paraphrase Theodore von Karman, Scientists discover the world, but engineers create a new world, a world that never was. In mechanical engineering at Rutgers, our students and faculty make innovations happen in everything from uh, manufacturing to robotics and mechatronics, uh, thermal management, electronic systems, um, alternative energy systems from wind turbines to uh, energy harvesting systems. Uh, our students and faculty are working on synthesis of new materials, both nanomaterials and composite materials, as well as a variety of healthcare devices. We have people studying uh, cardiovascular flows and inventing new uh, devices for uh, gene delivery, for example. In aerospace engineering, we're explorers and inventors. We have the Immobiler supersonic wind tunnel that allows us to study uh, aircraft and flows at three and a half times the speed of sound. We also have the Emil Bueller Drone Laboratory. This is a new indoor laboratory in Weeks Hall where we can fly drones, uh, multiple drones, and track their location and trajectory using an array of uh, cameras around the outside of the, of the laboratory. We have students and faculty working in aerospace propulsion, dynamics and vibrations, uh, people designing and studying uh, new lunar and Martian habitats. We have students and faculty working on new robotic mechanisms and ways of controlling those uh, mechanisms. And as you saw in the video, we have people working on air and water, autonomous vehicles, and our students and faculty are designing and uh, inventing ways to manufacture new aerospace materials. This is an outline of the uh, curriculum for mechanical engineering students. Starting in the freshman year, there's some general requirements in math, 
Um, but there's also the Intro to Engineering course, which allows you to get a, a feeling for what the different engineering departments um, do. It's also an engineering statics course. In your sophomore year, you'd start to specialize in mechanical engineering, and you take courses like mechatronics, um, mechanics and materials, and so on. And then in your junior year, there's further uh, departmental courses, as well as some electives that you can choose between, um, depending on your specialization. The aerospace engineering curriculum is similar to the mechanical engineering curriculum in the first year, but then begins to specialize after that. In the sophomore year, students would take the intro to aerospace engineering course. And then in the junior year, the courses um, include system dynamics control, aerospace structures, materials, aerodynamics, as well as flight dynamics. The senior year, uh, students would look, would take the aerospace labs. Uh, so the labs are different as well as uh, courses like compressible flow, aerospace propulsion, and spacecraft mission design. A very important part of the curriculum for undergraduates, both mechanical and aerospace uh, degree undergraduates, is the Senior Design Project. This is a course in which students work in groups of five or six during their senior year to design and build something under the direction of a faculty advisor. Um, some examples from previous years that are shown here include a, uh, a drone that students built from scratch um, to a mechanical device for breaking in a musical instrument to um, uh, a remote controlled aircraft and finally to a wind walker. The senior design course culminates in an exhibition in uh, late April, or early May, in which we invite um, alumni, family, and industry representatives to come and see the, uh, the, the projects that the students have, uh, have finished. There are opportunities for both uh, undergraduate research as well as internships and co-ops with industry during the undergraduate um, studies. Uh, for, in terms of research, students can take advantage of the Slade Scholars Program, in which students can do research with a faculty member. Um, they present at a research symposium at the, uh, during their spring semester, their senior year, and receive recognition um, at graduation. More generally, students can sign up for undergraduate research credits with a faculty advisor. Um, and there are also opportunities for what's known as the research experience for undergraduates. This is a summer program in which students um, are paid to do research full-time with uh, faculty members. Students can also choose to do internships and co-ops with industry. Uh, the internship would be three months of full employment and co-ops would be six months of full employment. Um, the students would write reports and receive either three or six credits uh, towards their degree. Our undergraduate students um, have an opportunity to be involved in a number of activities outside the classroom as well. We have a very active AIAA chapter that does a design, build, and fly competition every year for model airplanes. Reckler's Formula Racing, as you saw in the video, um, designs, uh, builds, and competes in a, um, uh, in a formula car every year. And we have active chapters of ASME and the Society of Automotive Engineers as well. Our students are also, uh, many of our students are involved in Engineers Without Borders. This is a student organization that has done projects in Camden, in Africa, and in South America. We also have MESA, the Mechanical Engineering Student Association, that organizes um, activities for the students um, and also provides mentoring and, and a career guidance for the students. This shows some of the interns from our department in the previous years. Uh, Phil worked as an analyst at Deloitte & Touche. John worked as an engineer at Bell Helicopter. Keisha did research over the summer as a part of the research experience for undergraduates program at Rutgers. And Carolyn worked as an engineer at United Technologies. We also have a very nice uh, meet and greet event every um, year for the students. This is a social gathering that brings together students 
um, and alumni and representatives from industry in an informal setting to uh, just to uh, receive mentoring and career advice um, and sometimes to, uh, to even find jobs. Our students have interned with and been ultimately hired by um, a number of companies, including SpaceX, Johnson & Johnson, the federal government, Lockheed Martin, uh, Philip 66, um, Stryker, just about any kind of company that you can imagine. Mechanical engineers are uh, relatively well compensated. The median pay as of 2018 for mechanical engineers was uh, just over $87,000 a year. Uh, there's about 289,000 jobs in the country as of 2016, and it's growing just about as fast as the uh, job market as a whole. Aerospace engineers are also very well compensated with a median pay of 115,000 a year as of 2018. The number of jobs is about 70,000 uh, nationwide, and it's also growing about as fast as average. Our students are successful in finding jobs in their chosen uh, fields. In 2017, the overall placement percentage was 88%, six months after graduation. And the vast majority of those jobs, 90%, were in the mechanical and aerospace engineering uh, areas. So why choose mechanical and aerospace engineering at Rutgers? Well, our students, our facilities, and our faculty are all world-class. You know, faculty are well-known in their areas of expertise, and uh, they um, take a great deal of pride in their, in their teaching of, of the undergraduate classes. The MAE department is a very distinctive environment. It's a highly selective, very small, uh, relatively small group of students within a huge comprehensive university. So at Rutgers as a whole, you can find just about any interest or activity that you, know, you might, um, might want to look for. But at the same time, uh, we're, we're a relatively small group within the larger university. Um, we pride ourselves in, in a relatively um, collegial and family-like atmosphere. And uh, over time, you'll get to know your fellow students as well as the faculty. And there's uh, many opportunities for students to, to find their own paths and to follow their interests within the mechanical and our space engineering program. So we look forward to welcoming you welcoming you to our program next year. Thanks.